Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty. And today we're going to talk about a little bit about fashion and it's particular one accessory that sometimes gets so overlooked, but it is so cool. <laughs> and it's the perfect accessory for fall and winter these particular types and I'm talking about hats so yes so some people are you know they're, they're not used to wearing hats and it is definitely um, it's different and of course being here to, you know I'm in North Texas and it's 92 degrees today when I'm filming this and so I had to take some little breaks because it gets awfully warm <laughs> with the fall clothes that the fall weather's not here just yet but um, I wanted to bring this video to you to show you how uh, especially as a mature woman but of any a woman of any age that can wear hats and how it can take your outfit up just a level now I will tell you that I am uh, I believe that hats are not for wallflowers you know so if you if you don't want to be noticed when you walk in the room, you probably don't want to wear a hat. Because, I mean, that's the first thing. If I see a woman walks in with a hat and it's just like, I notice it immediately, you know, because it has just taken her outfit up a level. And it is definitely, um, you know, it catches your eye. <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies have been going crazy because ragweed is gone bonkers. So, and another point that I wanted to tell too, a lot of women that have short hair, and mine's shorter than um, it's been in a while, but I'm absolutely loving this short hair. Um, they don't think that they can wear hats because most of the time you see women um, that are talking about hats, they have this, you know, beautiful side swept ponytail or these beautiful braids or their long cascading curls. Well, you don't need that. I think anybody with whatever linked hair you've got, you can wear it. And so what I thought I would do today is I put some outfits together from my closet. These were not I didn't go buy these four specifically for this video. These were things I already had in my closet for these hats. So what I'm going to do is I'll go through each hat and then show you how some ways that I styled it. So if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. I'm getting so close to 2,000 subscribers and I am just... I'm so excited. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave me a thumbs up and, you know, leave me a comment down below. Introduce yourself if you're new. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your loyalty means everything to me. So you ready to get started with some hats? Let's look at the first one. All right, the first one we have here is my newest one. It is a, either we're going to call it spice or paprika, but it is a uh, fedora, not, uh, I think it's like a two inch brim, but the brim on this one is extremely, um, it's more flexible than a lot of the fedoras. Some of them are very, very structured. You know how like a floppy hat is very flimsy. Well, this one has got a flimsy uh, on it and it is as most of mine have to have is the the string in here for the adjustable since I have a little head so I'm going to show you here this hat all right so and then right here we're going to look at the ways that I style this now in the first half I'm going to pull it up here on my screen so I can tell you the first outfit that I've got here uh, and this is the only one I did two outfits I think but this one is with a denim look if I can get it to come on here okay now this is with a pair of flare Kinsey jeans 
a Lucky Brand jean jacket, just a tank top, uh, animal print booties by Vince Camuto, and then I'm sporting some sunglasses by Dior. So that is the first look with this hat. Now the second look with this hat is a dress that I thrifted a few months back from uh, Free People. It is just really cute. Now it is a shorter dress and some of you may not be comfortable wearing um, a shorter dress, but it's still, I mean, it's past my fingertips, so that's my rule. Um, and the boots are by uh, Sam Edelman. They're beautiful off-white. And so the colors in the dress are what draw me or drew me to add this hat to that outfit. So I just think it's just an adorable outfit. All right. So the next hat is this adorable basic black fedora. And this is from The Gap. And it does have the drawstring in here to make it fit. So this is about a two and a half inch brim on here. Very classic looking, very, very classic. So if you don't have a hat and you want to start with one, get something like this. So, all right, the outfit that I have styled with this hat is uh, I've got a black cami on by Target and a pair of black, um, these are skinny mother jeans, black Vince Camuto booties, and then a burgundy colored leather jacket by Mango. And it's got that cute little peplum style on it. And I thrifted that, um, I think a year ago or more. Uh, so, and it is leather, it's not faux leather. So that was a really nice find. So yeah, so that's just a basic black and burgundy look for the fall. All right, so the next hat is this beautiful black wool floppy hat. So your traditional floppy hat, very boho-ish. And it's just got the simple, I don't know if you can see it because on the screen and everything. It's, the headband is just of the same fabric, and it's just knotted here. And it doesn't have a brand. I thrifted it, and it just says 100% uh, wool. So this is very mysterious. <laughs> I love this. So you'll see here in the picture what I have styled this with is a dress that I've shown quite a few times. It is a satin fabric, um, and it, the dress is by Zara, and it's this beautiful snake print um, pattern on it. And it does have the ruffle tear at the bottom, which is still very popular this season. And it's got the small slit up the front, and then um, I paired it with some um, stiletto black boots uh, by Vince Camuto, and then of course I added a pair of um, Gucci sunglasses on with it too. All right, so the next hat here is another floppy hat, the bohemian style. This time it's, it's in this uh, olive green, and it has a little, little bitty brown headband on it. It doesn't tie or anything. It's just a little bitty strip of brown on there. And it, again, of course, has the st string in it. And this is by, um, oh, this was a Charming Charlie uh, hat. So, in most of their hats, when uh, in their stores, and they had them all had uh, the drawstring in there, so you could make it adjustable. So, scoop my hair behind my ears. All right, so the outfit that I paired this hat with is uh, the dress is actually uh, a sweater dress that I bought last year at Target. And then the little booties are by Guess, and I thrifted those, um, I guess, last year, I think. And, uh, yeah, so this is just a, a little green monochromatic. Now, talk about fall trends. Green is one of the trends for the fall, uh, and so is monochromatic. So I thought that was, I love the olive green monochromatic because it is one of my colors. So, yeah, so that is this 
this green one. All right, so this next hat is this beautiful mustard color hat, and it does not have a brand. Um, I did find this while I was out thrifting last year, and this just says it's 100% wool. Now this one, instead of having a tie, it has a little uh, Velcro with the, uh, with the ribbon on here to adjust it. And then it's got just a light, it's got a brown little uh, headband on here that's kind of a little knotted right there. So, but this color is just amazing. Of course, I love my fall colors. So, this one. I absolutely love this. So, talk about drama. Well, all right. So, here is how I styled it for this. And that is the, uh, you've seen it before. It's the cabbie uh, long brown duster jacket. And if that doesn't say drama, I don't know what does. That in this hat is, is all about the drama. And then I just have on a pair of um, mother jeans, a tank uh, cami from uh, Target, and then the boots are um, by Blondo, which are waterproof, and they're just the small little heel, so they're very, very comfortable uh, for the fall. So I didn't want to wear any. Uh, nothing's taking it away from this hat and that coat, so... Yeah, so it was, uh, so this is Drama City right here. All right, so this next hat is, I showed this in my little uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx fall haul because I had two hats in that one. And so this is the black um, Kendall and Kylie. Uh, fedora. It's very structured brim on it, and it's just got this just a plain brown headband on it. So this is right here. All right, and you'll see this is the same footage from uh, when I showed it from that video. And I'll put that a link to that video down there. If you haven't got to watch it, go take a look at it. All the fall finds that I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls recently. So many, so many. But what I paired this in that video, or in that, uh, this look with, is the... Um, Tahari uh, faux leather blazer and then the the flare jeans by Kinsey, a black cami by Target, the animal print booties by Vince Camuto again. So this is a, a great classic look to with a blazer and jeans and a fedora. All right, so this hat is it, this was in that same haul um and this one is by c and c of california another black fedora but with an animal print band on it and it's very structured so i love this well, of course i love anything with animal print <laughs> so with this one I styled it with a, a black turtleneck, black faux leather leggings, and black um, booties by Vince Camuto, and then the, the faux leather brown trench coat that I found, and was, that was in that same video that I just mentioned a while ago, so uh, from TJ Maxx. Fall finds. It was wonderful. So that uh, jacket is just absolutely gorgeous. So this one is this one. All right, I say the best for last. This is a beautiful, very structured fedora that is a cream and a beige color. So an extremely beautiful neutral hat. Now. The story that goes along with this was I was watching um, a few months back one of my dear friends here on YouTube, Pamela, over at Granny Beauty in Boxes Over 65. And I'm gonna, I've am gonna i got a link down below to her channel. If you don't know her, please go check her out. She's just adorable. But she got the Cure, uh, Curator box. And this was in it. And... She put it on, 
and she made the comment that, well, she could wear it in her while she was out gardening. And I, and I popped up and said, you can't wear that beautiful hat to garden with. <laughs> so she sent it to me. <laughs> so I want to show you here how I style this hat. But first, typically, I don't, the younger girls will wear their hats like this. I'm trying to get my hair under here. I've had my hair in and out of these hats, so no telling what it's doing. So I'm going to do it like this. So here's the outfit that I style it with. And it is that beautiful um, beige color trench coat, faux leather trench coat that I found. And that was in that haul that I had mentioned earlier too with that gorgeous, gorgeous Vince Camuto scarf and then Sam Edelman boots and then underneath it I just have a cami uh, from Target and then uh, some some, some uh, light colored jeans I believe skinny jeans and those are Ann Taylor's uh, jeans that are underneath there that you can't even see <laughs> so there you have it so what do you think so all right now my hair is a mess <laughs> after all of that <laughs> But I absolutely love this, and I love that I can just do that to it and just slick it back or whatever. So, yeah, so that is how, number one, as a mature woman, you can wear hats for the fall and the winter. And number two, how you can wear hats if you have short hair. So, I hope you got some inspiration from this to show off your hats, or if you don't have one, go find one and take an outfit up to the next level and be noticed when you walk in the room. So that's going to be it. So remember, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you once again for coming back and watching my videos. So I'm going to get out of here now. So remember, ladies, what I tell you, I tell you every single day, get up and show up because you were worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day.